Yeah, that's been a very emotional day. Let's just talk about the sort of the bad bits if, uh, first. Um, obviously, the major incidents around the tunnel throughout the game, and then reached a flashpoint when when you were prepared to take the players off, and, and the referee did that. Um, well, for minute one, we have just got a barrage of abuse. Myself, my staff, the players in the dugout, um, and that's not acceptable. You know, we are sportsmen. We are professional people in the public eye, and for whatever reason people think that gives them a divine right to say what they want to us whether it's social media or in person and there has to be accountability and then it obviously spilled over when they were encroaching in our technical area and there was some allegations of spitting uh, that gets dealt with and then minutes after there's the racist abuse and then obviously that's the one that all of a sudden things start to get done and we stop the game but as I said regardless of the racism which is absolutely appalling there's 89 minutes of constant abuse before it as well and we have to do more to stamp it out. I've got to say credit to Morecambe, their staff, um, their players were absolutely first class and outstanding and as an industry when these types of things happen we have to come together as one and I think we did that today. It would be a minority who would stress that but uh, obviously it was very impressive but you would have taken your lads off just to clarify that. Yes, you know. absolutely. As I said if, if one of us gets abused we all get abused. Um, it's disgusting, there's no place for it in football or in life in general uh, and we have to do the utmost to stamp it out. That's, that's made it a, a difficult afternoon. On the football front that made an extra 10 minutes, it came back out almost unprecedented to warm up and go again and, and, and yeah. on the positive side your players responded really well. As I said in, we had 10 minutes to, to chat things through, they were very emotional in there and what we said was you know we're, dis we're upset, we're disappointed, um, we're frustrated, we're angry, all of the emotions we felt we had to channel them into 10 minutes of football and and get a result somehow and some way and they've managed to do that and I'm absolutely you know, so pleased for them, proud of them. As I said, there's a lot of emotions running high at the moment and we need time to reflect and, and debrief but for now I'm, I'm super proud of my football club. Yes, is it, as you say, there's an awful lot going on, a lot of emotions swirling around but behind it all you've kept that unbeaten run going having come from behind with 10 men. Yeah, um, you know, I think the whole day um, wasn't great for us really, the, the conditions certainly don't suit the way we play, um, the penalty and red card we feel aggrieved by, it, it clearly hits Rico's chest, we've seen the ball mark, we've seen the footage, <sighs> yeah we, we're disappointed, um, but as I said I'm, I'm so proud of the way they regathered themselves and channeled their emotions in the right way. Just last year, are you happy for the authorities now to, to, to deal with it? You, you said your piece, you know, the officials will have a chat with with your guys, I think, and then the police possibly involved. Yeah, as I said, that that has to be the way, and the only way we're going to stamp this out of our beautiful game is accountability, and there has to be some accountability. Just to finish on, on a high then, Reva Baka coming off the bench again, you've shown the options that you've got. It wasn't ideal for anybody out there today, but no. you've kept going at the end and, and got a big point. Yeah, and, and that's... As I, as I said, all I asked of them was to channel their emotions the right way and I think they did that.